Hey, I'm going to show you how to get live stock quote updates into Excel 2013. I'm doing this on Windows 7, but it should work on Windows 8.1 as well, as long as you have Microsoft Excel 2013 installed. Go ahead and go to your internet browser and search for Excel Stock Quotes 2013. On mine, it happens to be the third option down, or you can navigate to this URL that you see here pmstockquote.codeplex.com. Click on that and you'll be directed to this website. This is a pretty simple add-in for Excel using the PSQ function to import stock quotes. So go ahead and download this add-in and once it's downloaded double click to open and install 32 or 64-bit version depending on what you have. Extract all once they're extracted, click the Install again. This will begin the install procedure for our Excel add-in. We can close all of our open windows now and access the Excel workbook that opened up. Navigate to the File menu and go down to the Options. Once in Options, select Add-ins in the left panel and go down to the bottom and choose Go. Once you select Go, make sure PM Stock Quotes Excel add-in is selected and click OK. You'll see the stock quote add-in appear in the top ribbon of your Excel workbook. This allows us to update the stock information. Let's create a new blank worksheet to begin using our functions. We want to start by entering a ticker symbol. I'll use Apple. Now we're going to call our PSQ function by typing equals PSQ parentheses, and then we need to reference our ticker symbol. That's going to give us the current price of our stock quote. We can also use the PSQ function to get the date of the trade. We're going to do equals PSQ reference the cell A4, and in quotes typed capital date. This will return the current date. Another function we can use is the time. Do the same thing, PSQ, reference the cell, and this time in quotes type time. If you go back to the site where we downloaded this add-in from, you can see several of the different functions you can use. Remember to use the stop quote option here to refresh your data.